What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw rips and tears in your jeans. Now if you browse the internet and you look for drawings of this matter, you probably won't find anything because this is the first time you guys are seeing me do it. So as you can see I have a drawing of one of my original characters and I left the jeans uncolored so I can show you guys how to do this. So let's zoom in on those and then we're going to run down the supplies that we're going to need. So first off, you want to determine the color of the jeans, and that will also help you determine what colors you'll need. And I'm going to be using Copic markers for this tutorial, and I'm going to be using B97, B99, and C9, cool grade number 9. And that's what I'm going to use to color the jeans. And since there are going to be rips and tears in the jeans, there's going to be holes revealing parts of the skin. So that's why we're going to need the colors that we use for the skin color. The colors I used to color the skin were E11, E13, and E15. So we, we might not need E15, but it's best to have these colors handy in case there are some parts that require a deep dark shadow. So let's set these aside for now. So what we're going to do first is, using this outline, I'm just going to use the base color and color in the jeans. Once you lay down this base color, you're determining where the holes in the jeans are. So you can determine them now with your pencil and get those down if you're not comfortable using your marker to do this. But when drawing rips and tears, that's typically something you can freelance. So that's why I'm just going to use my marker first to determine where the rips and tears and holes are in the jeans. So I'm going to do that by just making a few, um, just making like a little circle with some jagged edges. So that would be a perfect rip and tear. And at the same time, I'm going to color this thing with our base color. Because when you're coloring with Copic markers, that's what you're going to have to do first is lay down your base color. Okay, and now that I got the holes determined, I am now going to lay down a base color of it so that way I can get started with coloring the jeans. Alright, so now while we still have this set of blues out, we're going to apply our shades to the jeans. So let's go in with our, actually let's go in with our darkest color first because I didn't outline this thing at first, which I really should have done. But I'm gonna apply shadows because this jeans on a person, so it's gonna be shadows like in between the legs. And also over here where all the other shadows are. And if you want, you can use your mid-tone and kind of add that around the, the shape of the holes. And then apply it everywhere else. And there. So now let's go back with our base color and blend the other colors together. Okay, so I colored the jeans and I made sure to ink them as I went. And now comes the point where we can fill in these holes with the skin color. So I'm going to use my E11 and lay down a base color. But if it tends to be too light, then I'll go in with my shades. Because this color already kind of contrasts with this blue. Because when you think about it, this skin tone is like a lighter variation of orange. And this is a dark blue. So it's still contrast. But um... It looks a bit basic to me, so I feel that I can go in with some more shades. So I'm going to use my E15 and add some shades in that hole. And all the other ones too. Then my E13 is my in-between color. Let me just blend those all together with E11. Okay, and it may appear as though it's a little bit darker than the original skin tone, but it looks about the same. 
but just be careful of how many shades you apply to those areas. And now being done with the markers, we can put those away for now. And now I'm gonna grab my white paint pen and this is the size. It's uh, seven millimeters. That's the size of the tip. And it looks like this. So it's gonna have a small tip. So not a felt tip, but a small tip. Kind of like one of my micron pens. But we're gonna be using this to draw the threads that are falling off of the jeans because you know they're ripped they have holes in them so what you can do is you can just uh, scribble in or outline the hole like this and you can add some strings going from one side to the other and then you can have some thread coming off it or just falling off like so Let's do that with the next hole. I kind of like these holes have rabies or something like that. You can think of it like that, but um, it'll help you in a way. But yeah, we're just going to apply this white to the outside of the hole. Right where the jeans are. Okay, I'm gonna have some thread falling off of the hole, just like over here. But instead, this will be a little bit longer. And then a couple more strings falling off of this hole too. Okay, so yeah, so we're almost done here. So what I'm gonna do, since I still have my white paint pen, is apply highlights to the jeans, and then I can zoom back out and show you guys what the drawing looks like now that we applied the tears to the jeans. So I'm gonna do that in time lapse really quickly, and then I'll come back to you guys. All right, and there you go. That's what the entire drawing looks like now that we apply the tears and the rips inside of my original character's jeans. But all the colors that I used in this video will pop up on the screen somewhere. And just a little message before I end the video. If you do want to learn how to color denim, I got a video that will pop up right here in the card. And there will be a link to that video in the outro. There's two ways for you to get there. But you can check out that video in case you want to learn anything about that. But with that being said, that's about it. If you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. And tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I got my nigga like Pat Kate.